Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean Gonzalez. Today we're doing a review of the Sancor 16C anamorphic lens. First thing we have is a nice solid lens, well built. Um, I think they made the lenses a lot better back in the early 80s, 70s, and uh, late 60s. Uh, the build is just, it's solid. It's a nice solid build. It's heavy. Uh, I'm pretty sure the glass has something to do with the um, weight on it, but it's it's very strong no plastic or anything like that so um that's one thing i like about the lens now i purchased it off of ebay for about 155 bucks which is an insane crazy good deal to me because i've been searching for one of these things for about ah oh man months i've been searching for months for one of these but it was just until that day i bought on ebay that i found the right price so um, I actually won the bid and yeah, 155 bucks was a great deal and I was uh, pretty excited. It came along with this uh, little aluminum ring which is um, what they used to connect to the anamorphic lens just like this for the uh, projectors. These lenses aren't, I don't use that, these lenses aren't used for, um, they're not supposed to be used for DSLR shooting but people do anyway because they give you that nice cinema feel and uh, anamorphic look to your short or feature films. Um, so you need a clamp to clamp uh, clamp it onto your lens. I use mine on a uh, Helios 44M 58mm. It's a Russian lens which uh, also has a nice uh, solid build so they make a good match. But um, back to the clamping. So what I did was I grabbed this little rubber um rubber piece from home depot came with two of them it actually came in a pipe this was just used to uh space the uh, plastic pieces uh, apart I'll, I'll put it a uh, link in the description so you guys can see what i'm talking about and um maybe you guys could buy one for your lens so what i do is um you know what actually i have another one second. This is actually what it looked like before I cut it down to fit on my lens. This is a brand new one, not even cut down. So I cut it down with a razor blade as best as I could and I uh, sanded it down to try to smoothen it out. And it just goes snug right onto the anamorphic lens all the way down to about there. And the reason I put it on there is so my anamorphic lens doesn't get, see all these little circle grooves right here from the um, clamp? If you don't have one of these on your lens, then you're going to have all those little scratch marks all the way around your lens and eventually it's going to put a whole bunch of wear and tear and your lens isn't going to be good anymore. So um, that's why I came up with the idea for this. Um, hopefully you guys can do the same thing so you don't mess your lenses up. And if you, if you decide to sell it, you know, uh, your lens still looks good and the person buying it won't feel ripped off for a shitty looking lens. But excuse my language, but... um. I love this lens. It's I shot a short uh, film for my road reel 2015 with it. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. I'm also going to put a link for some test shots I did with it. Um, this lens is uh, my first anamorphic lens and it's I'm not sure how much it weighs but um, when I find out I'll put that in the description as well. Um, when you put on your your DSLR, I'm using the T2i, um, you need some type of lens support to hold it up because once it's clamped onto the lens, you don't want that lens, this lens is pretty heavy, you don't want it to be, you know, slouching down like that, uh, messing up your lens, you know, that's holding it. Um, so you need some type of lens support on the 15mm rods to hold it up to keep it nice and steady and um, you'll be good to go to shoot with an anamorphic lens. Now it does take a while to get used to because there are some, let me show you right now, uh, some focal points. You can only focus from five feet all the way to infinity. And uh, the reason for that is, you know, because they're made for projectors, not DSLRs. But uh, you can buy some diopters, which I found the other day in a thrift store, but that's in a whole nother video. Make sure you keep an eye open on my channel for that one. Um, 
uh, like I was saying, you can focus from only five feet to infinity, which means you can't focus anything uh, closer than five feet. It'll get all blurry. It's a um, double focus uh, system, meaning you have to focus your lens, your taking lens, and the anamorphic lens for how many feet away it is. Um, now that's, you have to go with the uh, US uh, metric system for this one because it goes by feet right here. Um, so yeah, if you want an anamorphic lens for your, for your short film or your uh, feature or your videos, you want to do some test shots, go on eBay, they're pretty cheap. Um, I was super excited when I won that bid because it was my first anamorphic lens. As you can see, this is made in Japan. Um, I always loved the uh, anamorphic look, you know, from all the older films. Um, even the newer films till uh, today, they they still use anamorphic lenses. But um, they give you a nice flare, a really nice flare. These lenses. Um, make sure you check out the the uh, test. <clears throat> excuse me, the test shots in the uh, description um, I'll post below. But uh, this lens is, it's awesome. I use it all the time and it's nice style build again. Um, they don't cost too much. The optics on this are very clean. As you can see the oval on the inside. Um, very clean. Give you a nice sharp crisp image. Um, depending on what taking lens you're using also. You can't go from you can't shoot wide on this. Uh, you need to shoot from about 50 millimeters and above because you'll get a uh, vignetting from the oval on the inside. You know, I did some test shots with a Nikon 28 millimeter, and you see nothing but a ring on, uh, the, and you see your picture on the inside. It's. I was just uh, testing it out to see if it would work, but uh, it turns out it didn't. So um. Yeah, uh, maybe even look on Craigslist if you want to try to find one of these. You, you might get lucky. I looked on Craigslist. I couldn't find one. So um, depending on what city you live in, uh, maybe someone's selling one or, again, eBay, best place to find them. This lens is um, made out of aluminum, so be careful because they do scratch easily. There are some very, very, very light scratches on this, but overall, I would say this thing is about an 8. 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And, uh, you know, I I can't go wrong. I mean, it's just it's my my first anamorphic lens. I look uh, forward to buying some more of them in the future to uh, test out different brands like um, the SLR Magic um, 1.33 uh, anamorphic lens. This one's a 2x. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier. Um, gives you a two times stretch image, and it's really wide compared to the 1.33 aspect ratio, which is the I guess you can call it the uh, cinema standard um, for all the movies you see uh, shot in anamorphic in theaters today. Um, basically. Let's see if I can show you over here with this box. This would be two times this white, this white bar right here, and it'd be black on top and the bottom. But the uh, 1.33 would be the red and the white, and this would be the black bar on the bottom, and it'll be along the top as well. Um, it didn't come with this Schneider uh, lens protector. I had to buy this uh, separately because this didn't come with any. Um, caps for front or back and um, eBay as well seven bucks for this protector it's a lot for a plastic piece but trust me in the long run you want to keep this lens away from anything sharp that'll mess up uh, your image and this was the hardest thing to find it took me about a week to find one of these this is a little uh, metal it, was, it actually goes to a filter holder because um, I couldn't find this size thread. This is a uh, 40, I don't remember offhand, uh, 42.5 or 41.5, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, filter holder. I just took the cap and luckily it fit right on there. 
Of course, it's going to do that one I'm trying to show you. Fit right on there, so protects the back of the lens. It stays on there. And I also got a case right here, which I um, marked it, saying Core 16C Anamorphic. You want to keep this uh, nice and safe.